Jack Ma, and I thought this was interesting, particularly as he's saying he's stepping away from Alibaba, he said, let's take the longer view, particularly right. for today, when we're talking about how the market's right. reacting today. He's saying, wait a second, what about down the road? And this could be a big problem for a long time. Well, and to your initial point, I do think now we're starting to see what Jack Ma is going to be all about in this exactly. sort of That's retirement yeah. uh, mode, as you say, very instructive. And, uh, you know, without overgeneralizing, I mean, this does seem like a very sort of Chinese view of the world, right? You know, life is long. This, you know, we're looking at this in a much longer term. And what Jack Ma essentially said was last longer and have a bigger impact than people are giving it credit for. This is a guy who people clearly listen to. He is the richest man in China. And maybe more importantly, he understands how trade goes back and forth between the United States and China specifically. Well, David, this goes to your point in our editorial meeting, is that the markets are taking the short-term view, but right. there's a longer-term WTO uh, global trade refiguration conversation, which in some ways Jack Ma's reacting to. Well, that's what you hear, and we don't know whether it will be a larger set of issues or not, but you hear Peter Mandelson we had on mm -hmm. saying, you know, boy, this is treacherous waters. You even heard Lloyd like Cudlow yesterday saying, you know what, we think WTO basically doesn't work. Yeah. It's, it's a sham, mm -hmm. you know, and that's, that's bigger stuff. But to your point about Jack Ma, he speaks in Proverbs. This is one of his quotes is, when problems come, learn how to hide, learn how to train. It sounds right. like Buddha. I mean, I this know. is amazing. I know. But, but he's got this view. Let's take our, let's take a check back. But by the way, it's what President Xi has not done. Right. He's buried. He's gone out there in a brave way. And some people within China are raising questions about that. And here you have someone in Jack Ma who is right in the middle of all this, very, you know, despite the fact that he's stepping back from the company. You know, this is a guy who has made a lot of inroads with President President Trump himself, you know, he came to the United mm -hmm. States, he promised he was going to create a million jobs here in America. And so this is not someone sort of lobbing, uh, you know, lobbing bombs from another shore. This is someone who is intimately familiar with business here in the United this States.